Hi guys, Hello, I'm Yelena Lola. and we're watching the last episode of season 3 of Fear. I mean the last people on earth to see the last, <laughs> like it's fucking September already, <laughs> like this came out in June, June <laughs> or whatever. But like we're here now it's and we're finishing it. Very excited. And I'm... if something we know is coming back soon, we know it's coming back last next summer I guess yes. is again, which I'm very grateful for because like they know real TV. Me too. And they can put a season every year. Yes. I appreciate that so much. I agree. I'm so excited to see how they conclude the season. Me too. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> no. I am so excited to see Natalie. I dare you to point me to a person who loves Natalie more than we do. I dare you. <laughs> I don't think such person I don't exists. Think that was I don't even think the actress loves her as much as we do. <laughs> I don't think so either. I think actually, actually like watching the reaction like, what? She's gonna get a restraining order <laughs> in Natalie's behalf. Yes, but like I edited the last episode and I enjoyed all of her scenes and I want to all see... All of her scenes. There were two, you know what I mean? I was about to say, like, what the fuck do you mean all of her scenes? She was like in like one, one scene. one scene with Pete, one scene with Natalie and I want 50 scenes you know especially because now they are parents I have never been more excited for somebody to be, for somebody to become a parent on TV show like that has never oh, happened gosh. for me you know like I want to see the baby's first smile first steps oh, words that's, that's maybe next season first I would die. like what I would want to see them changing diapers oh you know God, what I mean could you imagine Pete having to change he's gonna be so like what do I do what do I do <laughs> he's gonna be so cute though, yeah, yeah he's gonna be adorable you know? he took weeks off parents i don't know how that functions in america I don't the think women barely have the yeah they have few weeks or something that's horrific imagine i can't even like our imagine. we live in a kind of a third world country but like you get a year <laughs> you get a year <laughs> with the job things i think we're better than some countries paid vacation days paid I mean, there is no... Yeah, but like it's sad that we're better at that than America, who is like the richest country in the world. Like, that is ridiculous. Exactly. But anyways, it's not about that. The thing is, I don't think we're going to see Natalie in this episode. You don't think we're going to see her? I disagree. I don't know why why we're playing this episode. (laughs) Because like, we are going to the funeral. We're going to the funeral dinner. And I feel like maybe the whole episode is going to be in that space, you know? So like, I think honestly, we're only going to see that. Not necessarily, but like, that's how I'm envisioning this episode. Oh god, I didn't think about it. And maybe at the, at the dinner, Carmi and Sydney talk about whether she's gonna quit, which again, I, girl, I know Carmi said that he knows he's difficult to work with and is gonna try to, like, change. But for your mental state, I think we should go with what's best for you, which potentially is going somewhere else. Which pains me to say. Because, like, really, I believe you and Carmi can be a fucking dream team. But do you think that's gonna happen? It's just that Carmi is not okay. I don't know what's gonna happen. But, like, I think she should decide that. And I hope for Carmi that's, like, a wake-up call. And then Carmi, again, I think should go God, I uh, Literally, I can't... That's what I think. There is ten possibilities where the show can go. And I have, like, I'm not leaning towards any. Like, it can go to Carmi leaving. It can go to Sydney leaving. It can go to Car. Like, I really have zero idea which of those. Like, we mentioned them in every time. That's why, like, when you say that, like, I completely agree with you. But, like, at the same time, I don't think Sydney's gonna leave and come back. Maybe. Just some, somehow, like... That's what I mean. Like, Carmi the needs only to have way that, that... Carmi needs to have that time, maybe, for himself. But, like, somebody else has to run the restaurant. Well, that's what I mean. Like, because, like, I don't... I can't see a world where Sydney leaves because, like, this is a show. Exactly. And we have that's to follow I, it, you I, know? I, yeah. And so, like, if she stays, the only way I can see her stay is if it, if Carmi, like, goes for his own mental state. Takes a step back. Let's yeah. Say. Takes a step back. Like, does something or whatever. At least accepts some things. Yeah. So sees like, it like he's ruining things. The, if yeah. she wants to leave... Then he's ruining Again, things. right now he is at a funeral dinner for a restaurant that was very healthfully restaurant. run. And again, we don't know why exactly it's closing. I don't think they ever specified. But like, I wonder if it's I because... Think they basically... Oh my God, are we going to see her? Yeah, potentially. Oh. I think they basically said it because she wants to enjoy life. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. That's what I said, basically. Like a healthy thing. Yeah. So I want her to speak to him. I think that would be... Like, she doesn't want to leave the restaurant for to somebody else to ruin it, you know? that mm-hmm. That's her her work. She doesn't want to do it anymore. She's maybe burnt out. Yeah. She's maybe God knows what. Yeah. 
but like maybe there's something to tell Carmi that's gonna like that's gonna help that's gonna make him think about something maybe. so like I'm excited to see where we leave off his character it's not like this is the last episode of the season he's not about to change you know but like mm. we can leave him on something that would make us feel good about season four for his character that's what I want you know that's well. that's that's what I'm expecting from this episode. Yeah. That's what I hope we get because, like, this episode, this season, uh, in its entirety, for his character was really like rock bottom. We honestly can only go up from here. This, if this season was like the breaking down fully of his character it again, needed to happen. Yeah. I hope next season is the rebuilding. I think so as well. In a healthier way. I'm excited to see. I'm sad that we're finishing the season because, like I always bear, brings me a lot of joy. But I'm happy to see how it concludes. Me too. I'm also wondering with the Claire part how they what they're oh, gonna true. do in this episode as well, considering we left off with the uh, hex coming to her uh, workplace and telling her yeah. that like, Carmi loves her. Maybe and maybe that the his piece. maybe when the um, like when what is her name like chef terry speaks to him or whatever maybe like the last scene is gonna be him calling claire maybe, maybe. which could be like the start of him like dealing with some things mm. you know again we need to deal with the background of all those things but like a step is a step and that's like the first thing that's on his mind I right agree. now so can't wait to see it as well. yeah so me let's too. play the episode oh every time i see him like i feel this overwhelming need to like help him and I can't do anything, but like, I really want him to be okay. He is a sweet that. one. Mm. How are we doing? Can I help you? Show you a few things, get you started? Peace? Good. And you know, as, as a child, right? Uh, we roast the chicken, yeah, we take the whisper out, we hang it as up a and child. dry it overnight, and then we sit with our brothers or our mother or whoever, and uh, we try to break through with some people and keep person. But now I'm just screaming. And his family. And he came in one day and he asked me, he said, Thomas, do you know why cooks cook? I'm like, okay. I'm trying to think. He said, we cook to nurture people. I know people call me a chef, but our trade is cooking. Mm -hmm. and, and that to me is, is such a profound profession because we get to really be part of people's lives in significant ways. Mm -hmm. So never forget that. We are here today because of those who came before us. So this is your first day, chef. You'll have a legacy here in this restaurant, you know, and after you leave. So always remember, right? Come in every single day and just try to do a little better than the day before. You're nurturing yourself, you're nurturing the team you're cooking for, you're going to be nurturing our guests, we're even nurturing our farmers, our fishermen, our porchers, our gardeners, who are bringing us all these wonderful ingredients. And so just remember, right? It's all about nurturing. Sure. Put you at it. Thank you, Thanks, Jeff. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> With the worst expression. <laughs> are those real people? Because I wouldn't know, but I think they are. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Mm, can you guys talk? No? Great. Is the girl gonna come? Definitely. Uh, Richie. You could use a date. Mm. Ah. Nice. These were nice by now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Fucking forks. In reality, you say that sometimes. Yes, because every second counts, bitches. <laughs> I'm happy for Sydney being here. I would like her to like speak to some chefs. Like she deserves. And she's still not here. So what's up, guys? You know where you're going yet? I guess like reality hasn't set in. Hey, you guys mind uh, hanging here for service? You don't want to sit out there? No, fuck that. Of course. <laughs> she's so pretty. Yeah, the lab. I'm sure that. I'm sure. I'm sure. He is here to I'm learn. Sure. Sure. <laughs> this guy seems to be like, I want to drink. <laughs> How did you come up with that? Excuse. Yeah, you know what? That's what I want to say. Oh, but he is the so guy, cute. He wants to learn. The guy doesn't learn. seem like he wants to talk. <laughs> I mean, like, he works every day. I'm yeah. sure he does not want to. <laughs> so pretty. 
could she be fucking prettier? I don't think so. I don't, this should be the scene like in a prom teen movie when she <laughs> enters, everyone just like stops and stares. Aww. Hey, everybody's uh, Chef Sydney. Yeah. So, Luca, Sid. Oh, hey. Well, Sid. Aww, these. I want her to speak to all of them and. Except the guy does not want to speak. Uh, serving it to all of you is fucking brutal. Oh. Is he gonna say something to her? I was about to ask if there was a possibility for him to come. This is too much for you. Answer me. Why a restaurant? Why not a restaurant? You get a better view, I gotta cut the fucking string. I think you should punch him. I'm not for violence, but sometimes I am for violence. And then having someone you really respect. Absolutely. And say, okay, it's ready to go on. Not just you saying it's ready to go on. Chef, it's not ready. Oh. It Some on you, well. Oh. That but like the fact that then he posted it yeah. and gave you credit for it, that's not. Common, like she's man. not getting any credit for what like she's the doing. Greatest mistake is working for a bad boss. Oh my! Oh my God! I cannot believe what. In you is the culture that you choose to create. This needs to get good at going. The culture. You redid everything. It's around the corner. It wasn't totally wrong. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think it's too much. Yeah, I think we could open a restaurant. Who's we? We you? Me and you, Mike. Hey guys, why don't y'all stop? I'm gonna let Carmi catch up. We I'm gonna punch you friends. myself. They were so nice to me. Like, it was so embarrassing, but it was so cool. <laughs> Just keep going. It was so much in front of house. Like, I it's not really easy to sign. Us. She's giving up everyone. Like, made She's giving up like, Natalie. Yeah. I kind of... Everybody knows you can handle your shit a little bit now. Like, you're not gonna back down. He's in like, love with her. You're, you're <laughs> my dad had me write down, like, my life still. I cannot look at him. I wanted to open oh. Everyone's, like, like, smiling, loving this, and he just... This is just... why you're alone. You can't handle this. Thank you. So special and so wonderful. You are not tough. You are bullshit. I love you. I love we get to help people celebrate some of the most important moments of their lives. We can... Give them the grace, if only for a few hours, to forget about their most difficult moments. Like, we can make the world a nicer place. All of us in this room, we have this opportunity, perhaps even a responsibility, to create our own little magical world. I cannot believe what is this episode. Sorry, I forgot my spoon. I'm going to use my watch. <laughs> I would see the regulars come in with their kids and their teenagers and uh, I would watch those kids become teenagers. I would watch those teenagers become grown-ups and I saw families grow. No families, uh, people got married, people had kids and people often talk about restaurants as in, you know, uh, what's the history of it? Uh, what's the impact it's making? Um, and I think what I've learned over the years uh, in all the places I've worked, is uh, people don't remember the food. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's the people that they remember. And so I just wanted to say, I'm so grateful that you're all here and, um, and thank you. <laughs> Is there a secret? Secret to what? Staying all pumped. Pumped, like inspired? I think the people you work with. Inspired. I think I surround myself with people better than myself. What about when you're not at work? I didn't mean at work. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> She's flirting. <laughs> Literally she is. I don't know if he realizes this. <laughs> Who are you staring at? I just have a fucking asshole over there. Which one? I just like, do look like orange. Don't, don't look right now. David Fields. Oh shit, the empire. Yeah, he's a dickhead. Yeah, he's the fucking worst and one of the best chefs in the world. He's still one of the best chefs in the world. I'm a total prick. Bastard made me very, probably, mentally ill, dead inside, cold, never turns it off. I don't think he sleeps. 
You don't sleep. Oh, he's, you don't eat. He loves. He's black pepper for some reason. I'll never understand. And he is getting up cold. What is happening? What is happening? Do you think that's gonna end well? Probably not. I don't know. I want to see how it goes because I feel like we she should get it off his chest. Hi, how you doing? Gatsa. <laughs> I always wondered what I would say to you if I got to see you again. After fuck you, I, I don't I don't have much. Fuck me? For anything in particular? No, just generally being you. I think. Yeah. Got it. Well, this has been nice. I think about you too much. I don't think about you. Why are you such a fucking asshole? How am I an asshole? Do you have half an hour? You're welcome. You were an okay chef when you started with me. And you left an excellent chef. So you're welcome. You gave me ulcers. And panic attacks and, and, and nightmares. You. Yeah, I gave you confidence and leadership and ability. It fucking worked. I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm fucking stunned right now. I, dude, you need to unclutch your pearls. My life stopped. That's the point, right? That's the point? You wanted to be great. You wanted to be excellent. So you got rid of all the bullshit and you concentrated and you got focused and you got great. You got excellent. It worked. You're here. Look at all this. What a psychopath. God, no words, honestly. Such a great actor. Yeah. Uh, a few months, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, my sister's here. And, uh, I think they're flirting, yeah, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> like, this seems like flirting. <laughs> No. Is that hard ever? No. Really? I got all the attention. Ah, I see. Okay, I get that. Yeah. 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 Also, you also get all the bad stuff too. Honestly. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> For us, it was nice to look over at someone who's going through the exact same situation you are. You know, so that. When something feels crazy, you feel less crazy. Went through this sort of battle together. Um, yeah. Do you have anybody like that in your life? Me and my dad. Dad, apart from your dad? He said, oh, Lucas. Hey, can I? Uh, <laughs> no, you can't because I don't know what's going to happen then. You just stuck for me. Oh, no, not, not yet. Okay, alright. Cool. I mean, um, let me know. You know, if I need to yeah. start looking. No, no, I, I get it. I, this is. This. Would, yeah. The no, panic okay, I would cool. feel. Alright, good. Yeah. I mean, it's not just that she has to, like, leave this. This is all, like, a big risk as well. I don't know how you make yeah, this decision. Like, no, just, okay. okay, yeah, of course. Great. Right. Oh, you finally quit? Yeah, 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 yeah. How about oh, you? Oh, I just got it. So freaking. I got <laughs> I don't think I ever got to tell you just how much I learned in this place. How much did you learn? Thank you. Well, I learned plenty myself. I learned that I want to sleep in more. <laughs> want to go to London more. <laughs> want to go to a party. I want to meet people. Mm. Live. Precisely. That's why you're closing? Yeah. Yes, sir. But, you know, I got to do all the things I wanted to do the way I wanted to do them with the people I wanted to do the with, so... And now you're starting. Yeah, uh, feels like I've been starting forever. Yeah, the finish line keeps moving. Yeah, that happens, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. What would you tell yourself when you were where I am? I don't know. I don't I think I'd tell myself that you have no idea what you're doing, and therefore you're invincible. Yeah. Next time we see each other, yeah. will you call me Andrea? Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Who's 
him up first. Uh, Jess and Richie, or what is his name? Them two. <laughs> Was he feeding her? Oh my god! Girl, is it a panic attack? I will fucking. I. Me too. I saw sister. Oh my god, the mm -hmm. very brilliant, sloppy, and consistent, delicious, and fucking less disappointing. Oh, I don't. This is a mixed review. This was what it like brilliant and sloppy. God. And now wait a year. Christopher, we have words. <laughs> Christopher, what was this? Christopher, get it together. <laughs> this show contains the best soundtrack <laughs> I've heard. I think very uh, dialogue, one of the best dialogues, makes you in a moment. It feels so real. Yeah. I also think directing is perfect in yeah. every episode. Like I think the show is art. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. When someone's having a panic attack, I feel like I'm having a panic attack. Yeah, exactly. And when somebody has like an awkward conversation that like... I feel fucking awkward. <laughs> like I literally, I feel like I'm in the room with them exactly. for all of this. Guys. Yes. My such a big break. <laughs> we ate. We had to eat. This what? episode was perfect. Perfection. What do you mean to be continued? Like what do you mean? I really loved it, honestly. I loved how it concluded this season. It it, it was it wasn't perfection. It was nine point five, let's say, the grade grade of this episode. Now the real critic has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> so, we all know why it was now nine point five. No, Natalie. No, Natalie. <laughs> it's always at least. Otherwise, it would be perfect. For the episode without Natalie, is as perfect as it, as it gets. They left us on a cliffhanger. You, never really you know, like you know what the cliffhanger. You forgot what cliffhangers are. You know what cliffhanger <laughs> is like. Se last episode, of season six of uh, The Walking Dead. That is a cliffhanger. No, I know, but like it seems how how they say it. We stopped in the middle. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we have to continue off right where we left yeah. off. Like that's what I mean when I say they literally left it. Like As we should. We should, but yes. But I like honestly uh, thought that we were gonna depending on where the episode ended, but like because some things. Ken, we haven't, in my mind, this season, like, we have not, we've been putting off some things, you know, like, we even don't... This season was kind of like, let's check in <laughs> yeah. to where the characters are mentally, yeah. and we're gonna progress things in the next season. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, let's just check in on them yeah. and see what's happening. And see how they're not good. Yeah. Most of them. Some of them. Carmi. Yeah, well, Say his name. <laughs> Everyone else is like doing better. I mean, or Cindy, I think could have been could have been doing better if Carmi wasn't doing what he is doing. Unfortunately, yeah. oh my god, I cannot believe that she had a panic attack at the end. But like I, what I gathered from this episode, I'm gonna start with Sydney. I guess I kept talking about how she should go for her mental state. She should go. Um, but the thing is, she's going to this guy. What do we know about this guy? Of course. And in this episode, there was something about him that did not put any confidence in me. In which ways? Like, when he took her to the, like, mm -hmm. wine room or whatever, like, to talk to her, he seemed like, how do I say this? He seemed, like, anxious. And it seemed, let's kind of say without a plan. 
Mm-hmm. It's like he seemed to me like he ventured into this, and of course he's scared. He is gonna be scared, but like it's somehow it made me feel like I don't know how he is gonna be. Like if he's gonna be what Sydney needs him to be, you know what I mean? Like there is no saying that this is gonna be better. It's not gonna crash and burn. That like this is that he is gonna actually let her take all creative control. Like maybe it seems just like a person that doesn't have the job that he used to have, and now maybe is panicking to open something of theirs. Not that he has, because like, I feel like if you're opening a restaurant, you kind of have to have a vision, a plan, an idea or whatever. And he wants to open a restaurant and leave everything up to her. So like, is he opening a restaurant because like, that's all he knows how to do? Because like, he doesn't have any, you know what I mean? He doesn't have any vision or something about the place. He just wants to let Sydney figure all that out. So like, you're just opening it. yeah. Yeah, so you're just opening it because, like, you need to have a job. You know what I mean? And so, like, there's something in this episode. And, I mean, that doesn't need to... That doesn't need to mean... Is that... That doesn't need to mean... What? Yeah, I don't know. This one doesn't sound... That doesn't need... To mean. That does not sound correct. But, like, a, what I is wrong I, with I it? Don't, exactly. I it don't doesn't know need to a... mean... What? Yeah, it is. It doesn't mean... It, it doesn't need to mean... That it's gonna be bad or whatever. But, like... There's no it's guarantee it's gonna be good. It's a very yeah, big it's risk. It's not like uh, Olivia now or Andrea. Andrea now has invited her to her restaurant to yeah. be the main chef or something. It's not the same thing. This guy like uh, is opening a restaurant. Is he probably a great chef or like a great manager? Could be. You know, like he's been working in Olivia uh, Andrea's restaurant. Yeah. You know, probably she knows a lot of things about him. Uh, yeah. and the way that he's doing the job or things like that but at the same time again we know she's afraid of failure mm-hmm. because she has failed many times and these are the people that feel like a family they are a family to mm-hmm. her despite everything that like she has seen i think she chose to do this despite everything that like people have told her let's say in season two warned her about in season two she has cho- chosen to go down this path with Carmi. she has trusted Carmi. uh so uh, like quitting that for a, a new opportunity like you said it's like again a failure and you are just like leaping into something else that's there you know yeah. like it is promising what this guy is telling her it's everything she doesn't have with Carmi. no control over anything you know yeah. But at the same time, I don't think it would be ever her first choice. Of course it wouldn't, because like there was um there are many lines in this episode that are I mean connected to everything that's happening right now, mm-hmm. but like there's a line that Andrea Terry says like that that people that come in, the regulars, don't remember the food, they just remember the people. And that's true when you're working there as well. Like you remember the people not the food like that's what's the most important thing and like you see that she is remembering like she had a flat that's when the panic attack started because like she's not like leaving just Carmi. she is leaving all of them and like this is literally they are a family that's how everyone acts everyone is like supportive and like Carmi was as well you know like Carmi, i, I am writing hard for Carmi. like really he is it's in him to have the capacity to be very good. It's just that, like, he is struggling mentally. Uh, and again, that doesn't mean Sydney owes him to wait until he takes care of himself. Like, that, it's not on you. Like, it would be a perfect work environment if Carmi was okay. And so, like, it's but very it... difficult for her to leave because, like, she fell in love with Carmi in a way. That's when did she searched him out to work for him because like she had that dish we because saw that in the in the in, in season uh, three episode one like she wants this to work so badly her frustration is very palpable because like i don't know what she's supposed to do now yeah, I'm, I'm, like... I'm, I'm switching my tune now i think like i think she should stop biting her tongue i feel like she should sit him down and roughly say you are screwing things up to the point that I want to leave. I think it would be enough uh, you for are her screwing to people say... Up. I, I think she should tell him I'm having, I had a panic attack. Mm. I had a fucking panic attack. Mm. Because of everything that, like... Yeah. Basically, you are putting me through. Yeah. You know, because, like, she wouldn't think to leave if he would he didn't make the 
uh, environment like that yeah you know and the pressure and everything we see millions of parallels uh, between him and the last sh- the, the, the chef that screwed him over you know mm, yeah. like yes she's re- he's remembering all the others and the nice part you know but like it's like engraved in him how sh- what he should do to succeed mm. what he should do for his place to be great again he broke up with claire because like he doesn't need to feel any sort of happiness he just needs to focus on work for this to work. He had that conversation with a guy, you know, he confronted him where he basically told him, fuck you. And uh, the guy was very cold, you know, like a I mean, psychopath. He's a, he a horrible person, of yeah. course he's not gonna care. He barely remembers who you are. Like you're just one of the people that he abused that, that, exactly. in the restaurant. Like everyone, when even Chef Luca, is that his name? He also yeah. said, what an ass, yeah. he's an asshole. Like everyone has, bad experiences with him but like uh, it affected Carmi in a way that again he he got anxiety mm. he had panic attacks he uh, like he said you screwed my life over literally mm. you know so like i think when if he would to hear the, that because of everything that he is doing to the restaurant not right now the person he cares about one of the person that he cares about the most is having a panic attacks Mm. because of yeah. their chef yeah. like her chef you know because of the environment that he is creating at that place yeah i, I think that would do something do something to him if he were to find out that again because he's not a psychopath like that he would not say after that oh my god yes sydney this is how it should be you know yeah, no. he would never do that no i mean i think it's a big step for him to even confront that yeah. guy I mean, again, it's maybe easier to confront him than to, like, confront your mom or, like, to do anything similar to that. I love that throughout the show we know how many, uh, like, chefs he had to teach them. Like, Mm -hmm. there was the guy in the beginning who, like, spoke so so sweetly like so encouraging oh, so teaching believe, yeah. like the guy with the Such chicken a scene, yeah. like it, he was so nurturing and there were many chefs around him literally everyone else that we saw around him was olivia i mean andrea chef terry whatever all of them were so like great and again the person that he thinks about most is that chef and that like again everything's gonna stem from the same thing which is like when you grow up in an abusive household, I think he, if, if it was someone else that entered that chef's place and was treated in such a way. Like Luca. Let's say. You'd be like three days a week. I'm fucking fuck gone. Fuck like off. I am, like I'm not going to stand I have nothing this to abuse. Learn from you know, me, like actually. I'm not going to, I don't need to be berated for yeah. me to become great. Yeah. Like that is not the, the mm-hmm. way to greatness. Yeah. You know, he told him, oh, you'll become great. Could have fucking become great in any other way. It was I not don't about need you. to become great if this is what, if this what is the I'm price. Gonna, yeah. But it's not the price. It's not the of price of becoming not. great. But like for Carmi, whose whole life was sort of yeah. like in abuse, and who and that's the way that he understands life. Yeah. He's gonna gravitate towards him, you know. And so like he never he kept coming back to the job that treated him horribly where he had panic attacks where he couldn't sleep where he couldn't do anything I and that's like yeah. the, the 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 sad part of it is that you understand why he kept coming back to this unhealthy environment because like it's the closest thing i think to his to home. home life and that's yeah. the way that he understands things that's the way that he understands life let's say that he had like to become great you need to sacrifice everything you need to give up everything that is not the case not in like in the slightest it is so heartbreaking it's why like i am like i just feel very productive over him what i loved about the scene with uh i think just like it was such a great scene with uh carmy and the fucking chef whatever his name is the abusive one first again jeremy allen white (laughs) what an actor like ridiculous he is so good at what he does but like again what i loved and what made me sad is that like i am sure like when you confront someone that's like you abuse your abuser, like you feel like you're gonna get something from it, you know, like you feel you're gonna get some type of like let's say closure or like resolution or something. But like I oftentimes believe that you are never gonna get that from that other person. Like you're, I don't think you're ever gonna 
or in most cases, let's say, you're never going to get that from, let's say, your parent. It's usually just going to be deflection. It's like, you're never going to get what you need from the other person, especially from not from the person that abused you. Like, you have to do the the work yourself. But, like, it was... I loved his little, like, ironic laugh when this guy just did not care at all. Like, it just then in this like he yeah, barely remembered who you are and like this is someone that affected you. has haunted you yeah they don't even fucking affected know who you your are. life so much so like i completely agree uh, it was such a it was let's say the biggest thing Carmi did this season there was n- like no progression with him like he I didn't mean, he didn't move from that one spot that he was this entire season but like i think just going to this guy and just like telling this like cracking open that Pandora's box, hopefully, is just the start. I mean, I, I don't know. I think something different needs to happen again with Sydney, let's say, perhaps, or Natalie and the baby, or you know, like I think something is missing. No, I think, or no, like no, he needs to, just yes, but I think like if Sydney talks to him, yeah, let's because say. of the thing that happened now, maybe he's gonna be more open yeah to that because like i think just like you said he can't get closure from a guy who does not care Mm -mm. does not care at all about him like he needs to basically do the do the whole job with like accept that the thing is like it happened how it happened yeah but like to move on to actually change the course that, that, that that's what he needs to decide of and course. realizes and like i th- i mean i think because like to... i don't know if he realizes how much he is doing similar as that mm. guy because in the beginning of the episode when he talked about him to sydney he said he's such an asshole he doesn't have a life he doesn't yells sleep. Ab- uh, uh, yes he sleeps abuses everyone, things like that you know and i'm thinking that when that's you Mm-hmm. That's one uh, completely hundred percent you. Everything you say about him, that's what you did to people around you, yeah, and to yourself. I'm wondering if he realizes that. I don't know because he did say like I am uh, to see is to uh, Sydney in the previous episode that he's sorry because he's hard to deal with. You know, like mm-hmm. I understand that. I think her like him he wants... finding up uh, about the panic attack is mm-hmm. something that would actually, I think change a lot in his hope, that's how because, i like, see him he wants them to be great like yeah. he wants them to be great for themselves and like again i think he thinks that by pushing them this far that's how he can achieve it because that's how he understood it but like that was again, they don't want to start healthy... yeah they, they don't want to start if they don't like to come to work every day so he's about to quit <laughs> she's about to quit like that's where we came to mm-hmm. and so like i think she needs to speak openly to him because, like, she bites her tongue. I think she doesn't so well. like. She says it, but like, I'm carefully wondering... at some points. But like at this point, you tell him, "I'm having panic attacks because of you. You're not listening to me. We're not in this together. I am this close to leaving this restaurant." I'm so on... yeah, I'm wondering if that's possible for her to say. Yeah, because like, uh, if somebody were to see her to find, mm. if she were to say that to somebody else, you know, like maybe that somebody else would e- talk to Carmen easier. I don't know how to explain. No, I understand, but like, I think the only time that she can talk about it to him is gonna be at the breaking point, mm-hmm. and we are there. Like I she's think, about yeah. to quit, and the last hail mary before she quits is basically to speak one last time, and this time just like fully say your mind, and then. I guess we will see because like why this whole season has felt like this is because they just don't communicate. Yeah. They have not communicated the season at all. And that's like so palpable because like whatever their relationship is, it is at the forefront. And when the two of them are not connected, things get lost. They need to speak. Yeah, that's all I can always... tell them. Like I where give me that refrigerator door, put them both in, break the fucking thing. <laughs> Let them be stuck there for like 20 hours. Maybe we can resolve it in the I the, feel like nonsense. Sydney does not deserve to freeze. No, no, no. Let the <laughs> cooler be off. You know? <laughs> Let there be food there. A blanket. Whatever. <laughs> Just like, I'm going to lock you up in the room and you need to speak to each other. Uh, yeah, I definitely think we're going to have progress finally in season four. Because, like, I think... Is season four the it, last season? I don't think it's confirmed. Mm-hmm. I think it's just like it was renewed for two seasons immediately. I th- yeah, I mean, I, like, I, I, I thought they were filming season three and four continuously. Mm-hmm. 
But like I think this, uh, like you said, this season was just to prepare us. Basically. For season four, what's coming. Basically. I really enjoyed it, honestly. Oh, me too. I really enjoyed everything in this season. I mean, there are parts, again, like in the last episode, that were that we still have a question about. Like, we're waiting to see how it's gonna conclude and continue, you know, for Carmi's yeah. character. But, like, I really enjoyed every single episode. No, I season, really, honestly. I enjoyed Like, I can... I read some of, of, like, what people... What other people had their issues with. And, like, I think that's, you know... It's valid. I I didn't have any problem with it. I am not that difficult also to please when I love characters. Like when I love characters, I'm going to be satisfied with just like seeing them in their everyday. Like the plot doesn't need to move necessarily too much for me to be... I mean, if this happens again in season four, then like we're just... Where's the plot, you know? But like... This was just like, let's say an interlude between seasons, kind of. That's how it felt, maybe. Yeah, I think so Um, as well. And to me, again, I think uh, Bear stayed what Bear is, in my opinion, during this whole season. I was able to connect with all the characters and with the story that they've been telling, like... In the, like uh, dialogues, in my opinion, and the, like the messages of the show, like mm. I, I just like I feel like I really connect to them, you know. Mm. Like let's say in this episode, the Olivia speech talking about the, uh, I love that. I mean, about how people. people remember people, you know, mm. and the time they had together with them in those restaurants and not food particular. Oh my god! Like I, I sorry, I saw on TV time the people in the beginning table that spoke mm-hmm. to Sydney, the real chefs. Oh, okay. They're not okay, even actors. Cool. I was thinking that because like... Yeah, when me you, too. Yeah, I was really thinking that if they did something like that, you know, yeah. like they were really chefs. Because like when they were all speaking about it, like it felt like a documentary. Mm. Like it mm. felt like... Real. Yeah. Yeah, it felt like a documentary. And I was, uh, even in, while watching, I was thinking, is this the truth? What happened to this? Yeah. Is this really some something I, that like those feel... Because it felt like a conversation I thought they could got it happen. from other chefs. I was like, this can't be the writer thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they had to, like, talk to chefs and <clears throat> see what they think about it. And, like... And how they felt and, like, yeah. memories they remember. Uh, I wish I felt this passionate about something. Like, the way that they speak about being a chef. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, it makes like, me feel passionate about cooking. And I don't really cook. <laughs> it's incredible how much passion they have I, for Yeah, this. honestly, I really understand and, like, connect to it. You know, mm. like, I... I also find joy in food and jo- mm. find joy in eating food with other mm. people, going to the restaurant. I find joy in all of that. Like that that's just makes like me my joy in people. Yeah, you know that makes my holidays. My like every time I spend like my on my free time. You know what yeah. I mean? So like I somehow I I just loved loved the messages of this episode and this again this season in general. Yeah. I, I just, I really wonder, I mean, what did Carmi at the end, like, I, his phone, I saw messages from Cicero, I think I saw the computer below it, and there was something at the top, something Google, oh, was that the article? Oh, yeah, yeah that, that was the yeah. article, oh, yeah. but, like, I'm confused about the article, like, what is it, like, it was, it was both, it was, but, like, like brilliant, can, terrible, yes, but, like, there is seven dishes, sloppy, True. You know, like it can be. Oh my god, the sauce that was made with duck, it was yeah. sloppy done. It like had two ingredients. I'm not, in. sure, like, so I'm not sure what the review is. Is it good or is it bad? It seems that it's mixed. I don't know, but like again, I I I don't know if that. Is he imagining? That's what I want to say. Like in the last episode, but like I, no, that's not what I want to say about the uh, review because I don't know. They showed us some some words, you know. Yeah. But like in the last episode. Uh, remember when we were going through the interviews? Yeah, what, there, what was he looking there at? There was some things like that, like to me, it seemed like the same uh, review, just like change the words immediately change yeah. from the good to bad, yeah, or something like that. And we always talked about how the even this guy, how he ima- not imagine the abuse, you know, that the guy was abusive, but like some words, like you are the yeah. worst, you are yeah, the, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. that could head. be in his head, things that like he says to himself, and we never know for sure how it is, and like how, he, uh, if there is something that he feels, or if that uh, that actually was happened. actually happened, yeah. Um, because like, they were waiting for the review, and it looked to me like he was reading many reviews. Meh? It looked to me like he was reading many reviews in the, whatever, second to last episode, but like, yeah, 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 that did those me. reviews exist? Or that was his head? Well, he was know. waiting for reviews. I don't know. So I'm not sure what's happening there, technically. Like, is this real? Yeah, and honestly, because, like, it was very 
ne- neutral, like his reaction, like he said, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I mean, that like, could be about exactly. the fucking oh my computer. God. Computer being like, it's not to shut down or, or whatever. Or motherfucker because like the interview is so good. The review is so good. Yeah. Or motherfucker because they're closing. You know, like yeah. Yeah. it can be any. Like when like he it said, can be sister saying, look. Or like the computer being like, sister is not gonna tell you this, but you need to close. Yeah. Or it's not, like what? It can be so many things. So like we don't really know. We mm-hmm. don't know what the fuck mm-hmm. it, it it was. So in, that was a cliffhanger. Yeah. Like <laughs> I said, Richie and Jess. I don't know who they're fooling. They were flirting. I was gonna say to the gods. <laughs> so were Sydney and the other Honestly, Luke. Luke, Luke? Luke, Luca. Luca. In that scene, like uh, because like, you said it, you mentioned it before, but like, I but, like he was notice. looking at her, but I'm like maybe that's how everyone just like. Looks yeah, at you her. were like, oh, he's in love. I was like, oh, really? You know, like I, I really didn't notice that. Yeah. And then you said, oh, they're flirting, and I still didn't notice it. And then when I when the scene continued and like. Cindy was kind of nervous, like, yeah. was careful what she's saying yeah. somehow. And, like, with him, he looked at her, you know, like, he likes her. It's like, it did seem like flirting, definitely. Yes. But, like, for Richie and Jess, it's definitely. Like, I think he was feeding her. Or vice versa. I don't know who, who, who was feeding who. Uh, he was feeding her. Boy. Boy. Can't wait in season four for you guys for a date. I can't wait either. I love it. What a progression. Of just like moving on, moving continuing on. with your life, yes. falling in love again. Yes, I'm very excited about and season we need four. To see Carmi speaking to his mother. That's what I'm gonna say. Like I'm very excited for season four because again, Sydney and Carmi. That's the part I'm kind of not excited at all. Like that. I am excited because like I just wanted to speak. I wanted to speak as well, but like I don't know where it's gonna lead, and I'm. I, I don't know. It brings me anxiety, honestly. I, uh, I mean, should Carmi and. Talking to his mother bring me as I did, sure. But like, kind of, we've been waiting that for like two years since the show started. I just want to see what he wants to do like, with that. Yeah, like he never answered. We didn't see their them communicate since the first episode. So I am kind of excited to see that, and also I'm excited to for Carmen to become an al- uncle because he is. He did become an uncle, but like I feel like he doesn't know it yet because he doesn't go and I didn't see him visiting his nephew niece his niece. niece you know like i didn't see see that so i need to see that as well but like what i am looking forward to in him like meeting his mom is that like i don't know i don't know what type of approach he wants with uh with his mom because like i think he needs to speak to her not that like he needs to because like he should but i feel like for his mental state i think it would help him mm-hmm. to just like air some things out same with natalie natalie would seem like she wanted her mom in her life to some type of degree because like natalie has worked through things like she yeah, exactly. has she knows boundaries like she knows how much she can take i don't know like where Carmi is with that and like whether he uh, wants her in, in in his life or whether he does not want her like i don't think he wants her right i am um, me neither I so like and i think that's perfectly change, fine but, like i don't think he wants her i think i think i think honestly that reminds him that like mike is dead yeah i he since he came back he never called her so far like i think he's avoiding that i mean i think he needs to talk to her you know yeah i but like at this point i don't see that like he wants again he's not dealing with with things Mm -hmm. so when he starts to deal with that with things i think we're gonna maybe understand more what's gonna happen yeah and like uh, what type of relationship they're he gonna wants have, yeah. with uh, his mother yeah. or if any because again we didn't see anything since no, season one never spoke. We, like, I really when wonder... he came back like natalie was like mom wants wants you to call her mom did you uh, tell mom that you're back did you like and he always said no and never talked to her you know no i really wonder what their their dynamic would be like mm. because again i mean i'm sure she was different with each and every single kid and that they all got screwed up in different ways. And so, like, I don't know what type of uh, trauma he is carrying with him because of his mom as well. Yeah. So I would like to see that interaction, though, like, I feel like it would, like, not be necessarily pleasant. But, like, I just want to see... I just want to see where he is at with that mentally. Yeah. Like, how, what he thinks of his mother. Yeah. What he wants there. Like, I just think that's... I can't wait to find out. Me that, too. Like, I'm so messed I can't believe this. We're, we're gonna watch it when it comes out, maybe. 
Why would we not? Well, we, we, we didn't know. We waited because like we had Dragon Show and the other show and boys and we the beer was at the end. Yeah, well, like it's not that late. <laughs> it's not that fucking late. It's okay. Like usually we're late like three years on a show. Or like 15. <laughs> yeah, well, I was barely born. <laughs> or like ago. 30. Four? Is it like 90s when, when like um, Sopranos came out? 99. 99, okay. I just, so I 20. 90. Oh, much better. <laughs> 25. Well, 35 and 25 <laughs> is a stark difference, yeah. <laughs> I would think so. I kind of don't think so. Yeah. I kind of do think so. <laughs> That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in a year. Because we know the schedule of the show is great. Yes. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.